What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this collage design that I made a few weeks ago. Uh, I left it up on the on the Instagram and everything. Um, yeah, it's a great design. Uh, it's a follow on from one of the previous designs I did. Um, there's a video on the channel. Uh, it's, it's done really well. It's over nearly over 2,000 views. Link in the description if you want to check that one out before you uh, watch this one. Now this is another similar tutorial. Uh, you should easily be able to follow along. Um, I'm not really going to use an anything like technical, just cutting images out and just placing them all together. And that's about it, guys. So, hopefully, you uh, are enjoying the content, trying to mix it up a little bit instead of just doing sports posters all the time. But yeah, thank you. Let's get straight into the video. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new background. So, what we're going to do is go to File, New, and then we're going to put these uh, width and height in. So it's 1080 by 1350. Now this is standard for Instagram, so you're just going to click OK, and that's all done. So the next thing we're going to do is add a new layer. So we've got a new layer, just click the plus down here, and then we're going to go to Edit, Fill, and then we're going to change this from white to 50% grey. Uh, you don't have to do this if you want. This is just one way of doing it because it's quite dark, so I'm not going to do this way. That's just the easier way. If you want to get a paint bucket tool, and get your color picker here and change it to a quite a light what gray so something like that and then just fill it that's another way of doing it so i'm going to do it that way because i want it a bit brighter so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drop some of my images in so the first one we're going to go and get is this image of this lady here so i'm going to drag and drop this in decrease the size make sure it's centered in the middle what we're going to do here is cut this out with the pen tool you don't have to use the pen tool if you don't want to you could probably use the quick selection so if I try the quick selection now and select this image, see how it does. Not a bad job actually, uh, that's a pretty good job to be fair. Um, so you can either select and mask this and see which bits it's missing. You can obviously zoom in and look and just see what it's not got in there. So you can cover those eyelashes there, maybe the front of her hair there, something like that. There we go. That's actually a pretty good selection. So you won't be needing to use the pen tool for this design guys. Um, I thought you would because obviously it's quite a well there's not much colour within the image so I thought it would be hard for him to select so increase the contrast a bit and then just click OK and then we'll just select and layer mask now that's perfect actually perfect cut out so now I've got that now you can position it in the middle decrease the size a little bit probably somewhere around there now it doesn't need to be too big it can be as big as you want really um, and yeah once we've cut the image out we're just going to name this lady and then we're going to go to our bottom layer create a new layer above that so this is going to be the shadow layer so I just do shadow and get a brush tool, get a soft brush, increase the size of it and then we're going to make it really thin and something like this and obviously we need to increase the size, it's going to be a shadow below her and then oh, uh, yeah, it would help if you picked a black colour. Um, so do that and then something like that. Now it doesn't need to be too dark, now I've got my flow on 38% so this is obviously going to make it look a bit more uh, opaque so maybe reduce it to 20, something like that. That looks really good to me. So. That's all you need to do for that really, that's your shadow done. And the next thing we're going to do is add in some um, colour and then some images. Moving on. Okay guys, so first thing I'm going to add in now is a blue circle. So what I'm going to do is get my ellipse tool there, change my fill colour to a light blue, something like that. And then I'm just going to hold shift and drag out a circle. And then you're going to move this below her and make sure it is quite, make sure it's quite big. Otherwise it will just look a bit silly. So oh, somewhere around there. You don't want to see it obviously through the uh, edge of her hair there because it'll just look really bad. So you can reduce the size of it a little bit, somewhere like that. That looks good. So we've got our blue circle. Now this will this is quite bright at the moment, but it'll get darker once we use camera or filter on it. So we'll go to our textures now, and I'm gonna just pick this this picture of the leaves here. So you can turn this image off and get this leaves image. Drag and drop this in. So it's obviously gonna be very big to start with. So you just want to reduce the size. So it's about um, the same width as the uh, the actual background itself. And then we're just going to click OK, get our rectangle marquee tool, and we're just going to cut out a rectangle. So what we're going to need to do before you can cut it out is rasterize it. So if you right click on the layer, rasterize the layer, and then layer via cut, and that's done. Now you can delete the background layer, and now we've got our leaves. So move that below the image again, and position it where you see fit. So that looks good to me. Now we're going to add in um, a letter W. So get your type tool 
and what you're going to do is just now you can make this as big as you want you don't have to make it that big um, you can obviously change the font to something that's a bit wider than this font um, so let's have a look what works best um, so Archivo Black I'm going to use for mine but you can obviously use many many more things um, so just just play around with it and then basically all we're going to do is just put it below the uh, lady image so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a few more images so let's go and get this image here so we're going to get this image and we're going to drag and drop it in once you've drag and dropped it in you're going to just need to resize it so it's big enough so you can see it and you're going to zoom in and we're just going to cut out one of these circles now you can uh, cut out with whatever method you like obviously it's personal preference again doesn't need to be completely perfect because obviously it's a collage collages aren't perfect as you should all know by now so there's one and maybe we'll get this orange in here as well so we've got two there now all we need to do is select a mask now we can see we've got them there I can obviously paste a little bit more in increase the contrast a bit and then click OK and then layer mask them out okay so now we're just gonna rasterize this and then apply the layer mask now once we've applied it, we're going to just position these uh, pomegranates down here. So it doesn't need to be too perfect, you can make them bigger if you want, so something like that. That looks good to me. So as you can see, if I put the original up on the screen right now, uh, you can see it's pretty simple to make this effect. So uh, I hope you guys are learning from this, and I hope it's something that you're enjoying as well. So. Moving on, we're going to add in some rectangles. So I'm just going to get a thin rectangle, put it probably there. Fill is going to be a dark red, so if you go to your red, get a dark red, so something like that. Then no stroke, obviously. Now we can move this below the W, like so. And obviously, if you want to make this the same same length as your uh, images, it'll probably help to make the composition look better. It's so like that. That looks good. Now what we're going to do is add in a image of the uh, Statue of Liberty's hand and then some sand textures and then we'll be done. So moving on. Okay guys so I'm back on the textures panel now. So what I'm going to get here is the Statue of Liberty. So I'm going to drag and drop this in. What we're going to need to do is probably shrink it down again so we can just get a better look at it. And then we're just going to see this hand here. We're going to just get our quick selection tool and quickly go over it like that. That's a pretty accurate cut. Doesn't need to be that perfect because it's really, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna be in the background. So we can select and mask this. Now, if we want to get in the uh, banister there, we can obviously do that, go over it like so. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just gonna click okay. And what I'm gonna do is cut it out like that. Now, I'm gonna rasterize this again so that we can uh, apply the layer mask so it doesn't look so big. Now I've got that and then we can convert it back to a smart object so it keeps its textures. And then we're just gonna position this probably somewhere down here. It needs to be below the, uh, the girl. So we're gonna move it below like that. And then I'm just gonna use a blending mode to uh, make it fit to the background. It could be something like hard light. You can try them all if you want. It could be something like pin light. Um, obviously there's loads of different ones so I'm gonna just probably try something like pin light maybe yeah pin light looks good to me so we're gonna put that in there and now we just need to add some dots in and then some sand down here and then we've done the design so go to your textures panel get your sand and then we're just gonna cut a chunk out of this so like that and then we're just gonna select it layer via copy now we've got a chunk now we're gonna drag and drop this in here obviously it's a bit big there so I'm just gonna reduce the size and then we can duplicate this like so that looks really good now what we're gonna do is get our rectangle tool same color again as the red click that and then we're just gonna position ourselves on the edge here and then make a thin rectangle like so zoom in so you can get this accurate so it looks good so it's all equal and your smart guide should help you with this and then click OK once again hold alt drag and drop it Make sure it's the same distance. There we go, that looks really nice. Now, all we need to do now is put some black dots in here and a camera or filter, and we'll be done. So, there we go, black circle, nice. Then we're just gonna hold shift, hold shift, make sure they're all positioned in the same place, and move them up a little bit, and there we go. So, now guys, if I just change the color of this, I don't know why it's changed color again. I've got it red. Now, We've done guys, I don't know what was going on there, I think it was just because I pressed the wrong button and it was going a bit funny, but we've got it all together. Now you're just going to select all your layers, group them together, command uh, shift option E to make a screen grab. 
and then we're just going to play around with some of the textures so increase the contrast of the image highlight shadows whites and blacks and then you can increase textures obviously and clarity that's completely up to you, you don't need to increase the clarity too much because obviously it will make the image too dark vibrance you can bring up if you want but you don't want to bring up too much because obviously a collage a collage is um cut and stick method so it's not going to be like bright pictures and stuff all the time unless it's a surreal one uh, and then you can use your sharpening to make it look a bit more crisp and then um, we're going to add some grain so add some grain to the background like so a bit like that and then we're just going to click OK and there we go there is our digital collage guys I hope you've enjoyed this video something different today uh, hopefully this video can do as well as the last collage video I did because you all enjoyed it so hopefully you have learned some simple techniques from this so just cutting basically cutting and sticking but in Photoshop version so um, yeah it's always a handy tip to have at hand and I think it looks really good um, I might make one more to finish off the collection so if I have three and then I'll make another video on that one as well so uh, yeah guys Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like and a comment. Obviously follow the Instagram, follow the Twitter, follow the Facebook page, follow them all. Um, there's all, all, all sorts of stuff going on there. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.